In Express right now, the top stories we're following for as you get ready to start your Monday. Up first this morning, Albany police investigating two homicides that happened early yesterday morning. Police say the first happened around 1245 a.m. near Myrtle Avenue and Phillips Street, where they found 28-year-old DeAndra Morrison with gunshot wounds. He was taken to Albany Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead. And then around 205 a.m. along the 500 block of Hamilton Street, police say they found 25-year-old Benjamin Rowe with gunshot wounds to the torso. He was also taken to Albany Med, where he was pronounced dead. Residents of the Colonial Village Mobile Home Park in Cobleskill have been under a boil water advisory for nearly a year after E. coli was found in the water supply there last July. The Cobleskill town clerk tells News 10 that the park has the ability to access the town's clean drinking water, but he says the park's management has not yet taken those steps to make it happen. Park management tells us here at News 10 that the issue should be resolved by the fall. The 28 day maximum hotel stay for asylum seekers coming to an end and New York lawmakers are seeking federal intervention as more asylum seekers arrive in New York City. Lawmakers asking President Biden to extend the temporary protected status to the incoming migrants, which would grant them emergency work authorizations. Officials say it would not only help the asylum seekers, but it would also bolster the economy. Uh, new details on checks that apparently were canceled for Albany Empire staff and players. Team owner Antonio Brown's accountant says the checks were canceled because equipment was stolen from the team. He says that once they find who's to blame here, players and coaches will be paid in full. Those who are responsible, he says, will have the cost of those items deducted from their check. The Albany chapter of the Huntington's Disease Society of America hosting a kickball tournament at Ridgefield Park in Albany. The goal to educate and raise awareness about Huntington's disease within the community. The disease, which impacts about 41,000 Americans, is an inherited disorder that causes nerve cells in the brain to break down and die. Those participating in the game say they are inspired, though, to see how many have come out to support this important cause.